Hello everybody and welcome to Refine Improvement. And look, I get it. You watch fashion video after fashion video after fashion video and you finally saved up the money to get the pieces that you want and you've got them all together and you're so excited and you put them all together and you wear them and it just looks bad. Why did I spend all this money? Why did I choose that piece? How did I ever think this could work? What style do I even like? I can't go out looking like this. I remember having all of these thoughts when I started fashion, and I understand how someone like you and other people new to fashion might be having them. So don't worry, I'm here to help you through them and teach you how to always make your outfits look cohesive. The three tips that I'll be talking about in today's episode will help take your outfits from looking like this to looking like this. So with no further ado, let's jump right in. The first tip for creating an outfit that is cohesive is to make sure that all the pieces have a similar level of formality. And what I mean by that is that all of them are within the same level of, in simple words, they're the same amount of fancy, right? The biggest reason that the outfit didn't work is because sweatpants are cozy wear, comfortable wear, gym wear, very low level, not formal at all. But the Cole Haan shoes are somewhat like a sneaker, somewhat like a loafer, much fancier, and made out of leather. And because of that, the two pieces totally clash and it looks terrible, which is why changing the shoes to something a little bit less formal in the form of the Vans and changing the sweatpants to something a little bit more formal in the form of the jeans makes the whole outfit look a lot more cohesive and work a lot better. The second tip for making a cohesive outfit is understanding colors and color theory. Now there's a lot of different things that you can do with colors when it comes to fashion, such as color blocking, but here we're going to stick very simple. And in simple terms, there's a color wheel and the colors that are opposite from each other are contrasting colors and you can use them in an outfit together to make something that looks interesting. You can also use colors that are relatively close together on the color wheel to make an outfit that looks interesting. But no matter what you do, you don't want to overdo it. A maximum of three colors is a pretty good starting place for creating an outfit. And if we look at the first outfit, we can see that it had four colors black, gray, red, and white. And that's too much for whoever's seeing the outfit to focus on. Versus the second outfit, it really only had black, white, and red. That lets the red really pop. That lets the black be the backdrop of the outfit. And once again, it, cre it creates the cohesion that the outfit needs to really get its message across. And finally, the third tip for creating a cohesive outfit. Do not try to find and stick to a style right at the start. This is the most common mistake that I see people who are just getting into fashion make. And it's that they think I need to find a style, I need to find a niche, I need to put all my resources into getting all this type of clothing. And realistically, it's a lot better to just find individual pieces that you like and say, oh, I like jeans, I like graphic tees, I like bands, oh, maybe I like streetwear. Or, oh, you know, I like a lot of hoodies, I like a lot of sweatpants, I like Nikes, maybe I like cozy wear. Your style should come to you. It's not like a video game where you pick one thing and you have to stick with it forever. You know, it's life, you have your whole life to figure out what type of clothes you wanna wear. So don't rush into anything and really take your time with it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Here on Refined Improvement, we are all about creating actionable steps to help you get better each and every day. So if you like our content, if you're all about self-improvement, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and watching our future content because we're here to provide you value and we're here to further you and your goals. If you want a free book uh, written by members of the team, including myself, please go to the description. It's free, it's a PDF, free to download, just about 30 pages. It'll give you a real nice starting point uh, for self-improvement. And that's that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Refined Improvement. Peace.